So that was a nice little segue as we spoke about IndyCar. So let's move on to IndyCar. They went to Laguna Seca for this round. Um, and compared to Formula One, what an action packed race. We saw multiple crashes, multiple safety cars, as we do in America. And uh, it worked all in the favor for uh, Alex Pelot, who uh, has won two years in a row now at that track, I believe, from memory. So uh, what a weekend for him. Um, now, you couldn't catch all the action, unfortunately, no. but uh, that's all right. We'll, I'll carry you along as we talk about this. But uh, the race was quite exciting. Unfortunately, it was exciting for the wrong reasons for your boy, Scott McLaughlin. Why oh, do we have to talk about that first? <laughs> we have to just get the, just rip, just rip the band aid off. Rip it off. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, he was a contender. He was a contender. He unfortunately, was. he ran off a few times and just, he just went down. He just went heard, down. Heard him, he hurt himself. He hurt him. So he finished 21st. Yeah, not good. Which is painful to think of. And, uh, well, Joseph Newgarden as well. Um, it wasn't his day, although he was actually in contention. He was actually fighting for roughly P2, P3 at the time. But in the final stages, he unfortunately um, spun out um, with two laps to go. Um, so he fell down all the way down the order. I'm not sure exactly where. Um, but it would have hurt a lot more because it was a safety car. Um, so everyone was all bunched up, but <laughs> unfortunate. But uh, got to say, um, Roman Grosjean put on a show. Um, he wasn't really a contender for this week, heading into this weekend, but he definitely did rather well, uh, finishing fourth position. The XF1 driver, he did some overtakes uh, around the out. He did a really cool one around the outside into turn one, um, which we normally see in Formula One. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really cool there. He's been doing well the last couple of rounds. Um, of course he hasn't had a, he, ha he hasn't been my favorite IndyCar driver, that's for sure. Um, but he did rather well this weekend and, uh, one person that didn't do, didn't do quite well is a couple of rookies. We've got, um, Gahito, Gihado, I'm, I, can't, I knew how to Gihado. say that name until I rocked up in the studio. Gihoto. Unfortunately, uh, he, cra he just carried, had too much speed into, you know, that, um, the corkscrew. No, 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 before that. It was uh Oh the left before the, the two before right the... handers. Yeah. Oh, three yeah, and four. Yeah, 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 yeah. He headed he uh lost control heading into turn four, had Did too he much speed. In the wall? He went backwards. Yeah, okay. Um that. which is a simple mistake with, with Laguna Seca if you've driven around there, either real or virtual. It can be quite tricky that corner sometimes at it's high speed. It's hard track. It is. It's very hard track. It's a lot of fun though. I really love it. When um, you get it right. Yeah, exactly. Um, but speaking of uh, corkscrew, uh, Lundgaard, um, well, after, you know, after crashing into Marcus Armstrong, um, who unfortunately actually rejoined the track very, very dangerously, yep. um, he actually got spun out as well. I don't, I'm not sure if he was able to get going again or not. But uh, after that, Lundgaard decided to just skip the corkscrew altogether and just went flying. Cool. So that's another way to do it. It's, it's a good line, that one. It is. Yeah, you can, it take, is. It's, you can get some speed off. You cool you can, the tires down as well. I've true. As you well. do probably break your spine. Oh, don't worry. You don't it, it's one. basically <laughs> driving off a cliff. You don't need a spine. It's basically <laughs> driving off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that was, it was, he, he had, uh, he got some pretty decent airtime. Cool. That's for sure. <laughs> the um, airtime award goes to. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, another rookie. Um, who, who I think this is his first ever Indy car race. I could be wrong. Um, Nolan Siegel, um, yes. who actually replaced Theo Pochier. 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 Um, French. French. The thing is with Nolan, like, no offense to him, but I didn't know who he was until he won at Le Mans. Le Mans in yeah. the LMP2 car. And then all of a sudden, the next day, he was yeah. signed with bloody um, McLaren. Exactly. <laughs> Literally, Just like that's that. his whole life story. No well, one ever heard he of him. Actually, until he actually raced week. in the Indy Next series. Okay. Um, so it makes that's... more sense with him going that seat because he's going to be there for the rest of the year. I, apparently, I heard that he was going to be in IndyCar next year anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah. Well, I guess the Le Mans sort of thing. Was just he sort doing of both. Hey? Did, did he do both this week? Or is he now? No, in, no, no. In I think he's now in okay, IndyCar. Right. 
um, from my understanding. I, I don't follow the next series. No. Um, all I know is Jamie Chadwick is in it, who, of course, is uh, an ex Williams test driver or something like that. And she won last mm. week. She's very quick. In last that. week, she won. Um, just shows IndyCar is better than Formula One sometimes. Um, yeah, but uh, no, so definitely not the race he wanted, but given uh, how he finished 12th, he still did rather well, too bad, but uh, you know, you don't want to crash and stuff. Um, hey, he started 23rd. Okay, well, he did all right. It's not too bad. No, he did all right. Then never mind. (laughs) Sorry, Nolan. (laughs) We just, well, you know, he won, he won Le Mans, but he didn't win here, so no, not good enough. No, I'm kidding. That, that That's good. Um, but, yeah, no one could beat Alex. Um, of course, I think from memory, he's now leading the championship again. Um, of course, it was a battle between him and Scott Dixon. Um, now, Scott finished sixth. So I think at the, mo- at the moment he's leading. I could be wrong. But let's have a quick look at the top ten for the IndyCar series. So, obviously, Alex Pelot, uh won that one. And then we've got Colton Herder. And uh, Alex is just confirming here he does indeed lead the championship ahead of Will Power by 20 odd points. Yeah, so, so uh, me, me, Alex is confirming Alex is winning the championship. So uh, Alex is teaming up with himself <laughs> there. So good work. Uh, Colton Herder in P2. Alex Rossi, another Alex, um, in P3 with Roman Grosjean in P4. And then we've got Kyle Kirkwood in P5, who actually got off to a good start. He managed to actually get ahead of Alex uh, in the, uh, turn one there. Um, wasn't meant to be, unfortunately, after that, though. Scott Dixon, P6, uh, with Will Power, who we said is in second place in the te- in the standings. Pato O'Ward in eighth position with uh, Fritchie in ninth. Marcus Erickson, uh, ex-F1 driver, rounds up the 10 for that one. Alex, do you want to run through the rest of the results? Yeah, I can try, yep. Uh, if, if you can. <laughs> no, I can. Uh, Felix Rosenquist in 11. You just didn't want to say Rosenquist, did you? No, I know how to say it. Okay, I just go. can't see with the mic in the way. <laughs> uh, Nolan Siegel, who we mentioned before, was 12th. Uh, Christian Rasmussen in 13th. Pietro Fittipaldi. I almost said his dad's name. Whoops. <laughs> um, in 14th, Christian Lungard, who we mentioned, went skyboard. 15th, uh, David Maluka, 16th. Linus Lund. Oh, my God. I've screwed up a name now. It's pretty much the same name as 11th. Lundquist. Almost. It's very close. Yeah. Um, He's a rookie sure as well, I believe. Say, say. Um, he had a tough weekend last time. Um, not sure. I didn't really see much of him this weekend. No, there's a big field in Indy. Oh, it's massive. Massive. Uh, God, I don't know how to pronounce this name either. Oh, my gosh. Canapino. Canapino. Yeah, I know his last name. Just, is first, just yeah, run with the I'm last I'm going to skip name. his first name. <laughs> Uh, Joseph Newgarden in 19th. The okay. best name in you racing. Gotta, yeah, you got to say this name. The best name in racing is next. Hold your horses. Stingray Rob. <laughs> How good is that name? Uh, my boy Scott McLaughlin, 21st. We pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, ignore that. Uh, Marcus Armstrong, 22nd. Still going here. There's 27 drivers. Mm. Uh, Simpson, 23rd. Graham Rahal, 24th. Jack Harvey, 25th. Rinus VK, 26th. And yeah, rookie Luca Kyoto was 7th. A couple couple names there in the back who unfortunately didn't finish the race. Um, Simpson, obviously, is a rookie as well. He was actually the first one to crash, I believe. Um, But, you know, that's the thing with racing. You learn and improve for the next one. Yep, true. Did you see Scott Dixon hit the wall in the pit lane? No. Yeah, and Scott McLaughlin was right behind him and had to swerve to avoid him. Oh, geez. Because the entry to the pit lane at Laguna Seca is extremely narrow. Oh, yeah. It's like a 90-degree left-hander. Yeah. <laughs> it's just as tight as the, the actual last corner on the track. I uh, remember years ago when it was on board with Alex Rossi. Have you seen this where there was a car straight. in front of him either spun in the pit lane? And, and he either, I think, I'm mixing up videos here, but from memory, he, he you know, you can't get past the spun car. Sure. He just gives him a thumbs up. Nice. So, oh, yeah. No, I have seen yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. can't get into pit lane. Just, just parked in front was like, yep. Fantastic. Great. Thanks for that. This is, this is awesome. <laughs>